hard. I need to lie down in the cool. Oh. just doing spellings with Wilfred and one of his spellings is bugle. Now I have a very, very fond, fond memory of someone I love very much who watches this video, these videos. She was sitting on my bed, aged 13, 14 and flicking through a diary and she said, bugly, what on earth is a bugly? And I said, I don't know, what's the definition? A brass instrument. <laughs> Bugle. You so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, my chair nearly fell over then. Right, go <laughs> and, Ooh, go and spell ogle. Ogle. Yeah. Feel like I've used my voice for a little while which is ridiculous because I have I've been teaching this morning and it's been not too bad I thought it would be extremely painful but it was fine we did Joe Wicks um that was great might try Otima Bussy's dance tomorrow Wolf's not keen but I am raring to go dancing is definitely my thing I've just noticed that my feet are getting a tan where I've been wearing the same daps all the time. I've got funny tan lines coming. Typical. Uh, I'm just going to sit down here for half an hour now. I've got my knitting and I've got my poodle. This is the love note that I'm doing. Um, so I'm being a bit of an idiotic knitter. I haven't done a gauge swatch. I'm not using the correct yarn. I'm guessing the size needle, just just by my powers of ridiculous deduction. So here's the thing. I'll get myself confused explaining it. I have, I'm using, have I said, I feel like I've said this already on the vlog. Did I do this on a virtual knit night I had yesterday with my friends? I'm using lace weight when it should be fingering how double with some mo so i'm going for i'm knitting four sizes too big for me but i have gone down to a instead of a 4.5 needle i'm knitting this on four so i've only gone down two needle sizes do you even get a 425? You don't, do you? I've only gone down one needle. <laughs> I do want it to be very loose and airy and floppy over the top of a, um, a dress or a vest top. So I think it'll be fine. And you know what? If it's not, I'll just unravel it. I'll try again for something else or use it for something else and try a different yarn. I think what I'm going to do is I've got another, I don't even know where I am. I think I've got another five rows of the chart to do. That's not very good. I've not been marking it off. Another five rows of the chart. And then I'll take a look at the instructions and see what happens next, whether I've got to do any increases and counting and all of that kind of thing. In which case I'll, well, I'll make a judgment of whether to quickly pop it on some waist yarn, give it a soak, stretch it out and take a look, or um, just to plough on. I think it's going to be fine though. It'll be a surprise no matter what. 
So I've settled down. I'm just about to watch my lovely friend Ali, her vlog. It's a 16 minute long vlog. And um, I had a 19 minute advert pop up. <laughs> now I know Ali has exactly the same opinion as me. And that is, don't encourage the long ads. Don't encourage them. Don't watch them. So what I am going to do is I will watch this vlog of Ali's. I'll watch the advert at the end and then I'll just let another vlog or podcast start up with a little advert and I'll and I'll watch that one. Because we're not sure. Well, I'm not sure. Maybe other people are sure. I don't think you get any extra for a 19 minute advert. And I just think that is rude. And I have no choice really over what adverts are connected to my vlog. It all depends. Toby, when he watches my vlogs, he gets things about cars and fitness and nutritional protein powders. I get things like Tenelady and what was the other one I got the other day? I mean, obviously, we all get that stupid Solidor one. What's the other one I got the other day? I thought, why are they showing me this? Can't remember. I'm going to sit here, enjoy this, and then I'm going to go and build runner bean wigwams in the garden. But it is super windy out there and it's quite cold, even though it's beautiful and sunny. Satisfying. Does it? I just say, I just say. Cool. Oh, you're going to be so itchy now, Sophie. Oh, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Do, do him a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else make as much of a mess cooking as I do? I'm lying on my bed. Truth is, I'm hiding. But I didn't stay hidden for long because... Yeah, this one found me. Come here. There. Um, where's the camera gone now? There it is. <sighs> Wilf's doing his saxophone lesson, and that's just quite hard on the ears at this time in the evening. It's gone eight o'clock. Um, Wilf and Ted have obviously. <gasps> I just yawned. Wilf and Ted have obviously not burnt off enough energy today. They are like giggly little toddlers. Um, I've come up to pack away some washing and... Oh, I could just close my eyes now. I've been um, quite physical today. Did my PE this morning and then I've been gardening. I've put up the... Um, supports for the runner beans. I got splinters from the canes because the canes are old and they're beginning to split. So as I was trying to push them in the ground, I was li oh, I kept having dramatic thoughts. I kept thinking that I'd be pushing really hard and one would break in half and it would skewer me through my neck. What's that all about? <sighs> Honestly, my brain sometimes is my my biggest enemy. Um, but yeah, I've got, I've got a few splinters, so I've picked them out, which means that knitting will be horrible for a few days because of the roughness of, of the broken skin. I can't stop yawning. Whilst I was in the garden, I saw a little mouse 
I saw the mouse, the mouse that has been eating my sweet corn. So cute though. Um, oh, just utterly cute as anything. Thomasina Tittle Mouse, gorgeous. Uh, 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 what else can I tell you? Oh, I made a really odd COVID concoction for supper tonight. It was really nice. I did a base. Um, I did a like a shepherd's pie, no, a cottage pie base. But I added to it some more of that bulgur wheat, <laughs> the out of date bulgur wheat. <laughs> So that kind of made it, the texture slightly more nutty. So that was lovely. And I put in some butternut squash, just a little bit, and let that go really, really soggy and mash that in because the kids are rubbish at eating things like butternut squash. They'll eat peas and carrots, but I do have to still hide vegetables. Um... But then, here's the difference. Wilfred doesn't like mashed potato, but he does like the inside of a jacket potato with butter. I know they taste slightly different, but they're very, very similar. He turns his nose up at mashed potato. So instead of doing a cottage pie with mashed potato top, I sliced the potatoes and boiled them until they were quite soft, but still holding their shape. Then I layered them all over the top, bit like you would with dauphinoise potatoes and then I put a cheese sauce on the top of that and grated some cheese salt and pepper finished it off in the oven and it was yummy it was like moussaka crossed with lasagna crossed with dauphinoise potatoes crossed with macaroni cheese crossed with cottage pie <laughs> It's really nice. Really nice. I think my lens might be dirty. Well, it was nicer when it was blurry. Look how tired I am. I'm so tired. Ugh. I don't think I'm going to be able to move from my gorgeously plumptious, comfy bed. Oh, look at it. That's my washing I need to pack away. It's a nice evening. I can't really see, but the sky is pink. Pinky. Right, good night, one and all. See you tomorrow.